and I just finished performing Shoemaker Legato Etude number 21. This one was really fun. It's fast, it's loud, it's got not too many high notes, not too many low notes. It's just kind of really, it's called, it says Allegro Brilliant or Brilliant and it's also it says to be energico and part of it or energetic. So it was a nice change from a lot of the very slow, soft legato things I've been doing. Anyway, I wanted to give a quick tip on what I do to combat, further combat my stage fright or performance anxiety. Most musicians have performance anxiety. Most of them won't admit it, but I will. I definitely get nervous um, on certain occasions, not not all the time, but yeah, I get I get nervous, especially if it's like a Mm, big second horn thing that I have to do. Anyway, when I do get nervous, or I realize that performance is coming that's going to make me nervous, what I do like months beforehand is I make myself play for people that like me. So for example, I'll play for some neighbors that like me. I'll be like, can I come over and play for you? And usually they, they say yes. Not often do they say no. Or I will set up a recital at the university where I teach and I make myself just play with people, collaborate. It's not for money. It's usually just to get myself ready to basically be, on the, be in the spotlight. I also ask church um, music directors if I can play during the services and they usually say yes because they're glad to have an extra musician. So looking for those opportunities around your community can really help with getting ready for the big job or the big audition. Because the more we perform, the stronger we are as performers. The more we're in front of an audience, getting comfortable with an audience, the better we'll be at it. So don't hide from performing, just try to do more. The more you do, the more comfortable you'll be. And it is fun to play for people that like you because generally you get nice comments afterwards, which always helps the ego. Well, I hope that helps and I will keep giving more tips 
at the end of these videos I have three more shoemakers to go and then um yeah and then life goes on <laughs> okay thanks